Here we have a problem from the 2015 AMC 10A math contest. And this is problem number 15 on that test. And it asks us to consider the set of all fractions x over y such that the GCD of x and y is 1. And we're working over all the integers here. How many of these fractions have the property that if x and y are both increased by 1, the value of these fractions are increased by 10%? So before we kind of get into the solution, let's get a feel for this type of thing. So first, let's look at the fraction 1 half. And then if we increase this by 1 in the top and the bottom, we get 2 thirds. So we can get the percentage increase here by figuring out what we multiplied 1 half to to get 2 thirds. And that's going to be... 4 thirds, because if you multiply 1 half by 4 thirds, this cancels down to 2, this goes away, and you just get 2 thirds. So this is actually a 33% increase on our fraction. This is what happens when you apply this action to 1 half. And we're looking for a 10% increase, not a 33% increase. So that's kind of generally what we're looking for here. So let's look at one more example. Here we have the example negative 2 over 5, and if we increase both of these numbers by 1, we get negative 1 over 6. The increase here is actually a percent decrease. We're actually multiplying negative 2 fifths by 5 twelfths here. And so this 12 cancels down to 6, this 2 cancels down to 1, and these 5s both cancel. That gives us negative 1 over 6. But 5 twelfths is clearly a percent decrease in this case which is not what we're looking for. But now that we've gone over a couple of examples of this type of thing, let's jump into our solution. So we want to start with the numbers x and y, and we want, when we increase them by one, the value of the fraction to be 10% bigger. So when we increase x and y by one, that's this left-hand side, we want the resulting fraction to be 11 tenths of the original fraction. So 11 over 10 times x over y, or 11x over 10y. But now what we can do is we can cross multiply, so we'll get x plus 1 times 10y equals 11x times y plus 1. But now expanding that out, we get 10xy plus 10y equals 11xy plus 11x. But now let's combine like terms here. So we'll take this 10xy and combine it with this 11xy over here. And we'll move everything over to the same side. So we will get xy plus 11x minus 10y equals 0. But now what we can do is we can factor this. We can say x minus 10 times y plus 11 equals negative 110. And you might say, well, why can we do this? And the answer is because if we multiply x into this term, we get xy, that's this term here. We get 11x, that's this term here. And then when we multiply in negative 10, we get negative 10y, that's this term here. And then negative 10 times 11 is negative 110, which is over here. So that's why we can do this. And the reason we want to do this is because now we can split negative 10 up into its integer factorization to solve for x and y. So here we'll have negative 2, 55, 2, negative 55, negative 1, 110, 1, negative 110, and the last two, negative 11, 10, and 11, negative 10. So let's bring these possibilities up to here and we'll keep going. Okay, so here I have written the possibilities for the factorizations of negative 110. And just remember, because we're working with negative 110, these two have to be opposites of each other. So if we're working with plus 2, we're working with negative 55, and so on and so forth. Okay, I think the easiest solution to knock out first is the possibility where negative 10 and positive 11. Because that means that x is 0 and y is 0. But that clearly doesn't work, because then we're working with an indeterminate fraction. So to get negative 11 and positive 10, we can set x equal to negative 1, and we can set y equal to negative 1. 
And notice inputting negative one into here, this goes to positive 10 and this goes to negative 11, which satisfies what we want. But again, if we increment this ordered pair, negative one, negative one, we get the ordered pair zero, zero, which again, doesn't make a lot of sense. So I don't think there's any solutions for this factorization of negative 110. So let's keep going with the other possibilities. Let's try positive two and negative 55. So we want X to be negative 45 and Y to be negative nine. That gives us negative 55 here and negative two here. But notice that this ordered pair does not satisfy this condition of the GCD of X and Y being equal to one because nine is a factor of 45. So let's try the flip side where we're looking for negative two and positive 55. So to get negative two, X is equal to positive eight. That gives us negative two here. To get positive 55, we have to have Y equal to 44. That's 44 plus 11, which is 55. But again, notice that violates this condition because both eight and 44 are divisible by four, meaning that their GCD is not one. So this factorization, plus minus two plus minus 55 of negative 110, it does not give us a solution either. So let's keep going with this last factorization. So I just realized there's one factorization I left off from the last board and that's plus minus five plus minus 22. And we'll go ahead and check that one last. So let's go ahead and check this plus minus one plus minus 110 really quick. So for here, Y would need to be 99 to get positive 110 and X would need to be nine to get negative one. But clearly both of these numbers are divisible by nine, which violates this condition up here. And likewise, if we want positive one and negative 110, X could be equal to 11. That would give us a one on the left hand side and Y could be equal to negative 121. That will give us a negative 110 on this right term. But again, 11 is a factor of negative 121, so that's not going to work either. Meaning that for this factorization, we have no solution either. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase these last two ordered pairs and then we'll check this last factorization. Okay, so now our goal is to get plus minus five on one term and plus minus 22 on the other. So what we can do is we can set X equal to 15. That gives us positive five over here. And then we can set Y equal to negative 33. That gives us negative 22 over here. But both of these numbers are divisible by three, meaning their GCD is not one. So this ordered pair does not give us a solution either. But if we set X equal to five, that gives us negative five over here. And we set Y equal to 11. That gives us 22 over here. The resulting combination multiplies to negative 110 and five and 11 are in fact co-prime or their GCD is an equal to one, meaning that we have a solution in the form of the fraction five elevenths. And this is the only solution to this problem because we've gone through all the other possibilities for factorizations of negative 110. And that's enough for now.